One of the um, things that we know about um, people who are as they age is that they start to lose strength. And when I talk to older people, they often talk about the fact that their legs now feel wobbly. They're losing their balance and they don't know how to improve it. You'd be surprised how many people unfortunately end up in aged care facilities because they can't stand up of a chair or get out of bed by themselves. So we've got a number of exercises that we teach people and they're all evidence-based so that we know that they'll work if they're done correctly. So we teach people the exercises in a controlled environment of like a hall or something like that. And then over time we start to introduce the idea to them. They could be starting to do it within their daily lives. They could even be doing it outside in an outside area like this beautiful community garden. An example of a balance exercise is something as simple as putting your right foot in front of your left foot and staying still for a significant period of time. So you can start with five seconds and as gradually as you improve, you can go to 30 seconds. I was retired and just thinking about what I'm going to do, my lifestyle and how I keep myself healthy. That's why I joined a different program to make my body stay healthy and make your lower body really strong. Another exercise that we strongly recommend is an exercise called sit to stand. It comes under different names and different ways, but basically it's just standing up out of a chair and sitting back down in the same chair. The more you do that, the more you can keep that actual function and be able to stay independent and in your home. The important thing is to start gently. So you might stand up three times when you get out of the chair after you've had your meal, rather than just the once. And then as time goes on, you might do 10. The Stepping On program is an evidence-based program targeted at the older aged people in the community to preserve independence and primarily just reduce their risk of falls. A lot of old people fall over and if I can work out why or how, I'll hopefully go away with some knowledge about how to keep on my feet without trying to kiss the ground. It is not a good taste. Stepping on has been shown to reduce the numbers of falls of people who attend by 31%. It occurs in the community and it is available through all of New South Wales. The exercises have been designed to be simple. The Stepping On program has selected the six or seven movements um, because they specifically work on lower leg strength and balance. I had a fall and broke my foot and um, I wanted to strengthen my body up. I have a funny knee. <laughs> it's sort of grating on each other. And uh, so I find I'm getting a little bit better at it all the time. And if I'm waiting for the microwave or the washing machine or the jug to ball, I'll do mine up and down, the stepping and the, and the walking. And the car phrases, yeah. standing at the kitchen sink. I think it's worth it. Good for everybody who are in their OH. Now I can do the exercise without feeling any pain in my uh, knees. The instructor's been great. And I do feel I'm strengthening up a bit. I find the benefit of coming, meeting everybody, I find it's really good. But it's amazing, one of the testaments of the program and the way that it's delivered is that they um, develop a really close-knit relationship where you start to see friendship and laughter and socialisation and it carries on post-program, which is, yeah, it's fantastic to see. Talk to your GP about how to improve your strength and balance. Visit the Active and Healthy website to find a program near you. South Eastern Sydney Local Health District acknowledges the support of all community members, organisations, groups and local councils that made this video possible.